What's up YouTube, Brian here back again with another video and today is the November unboxing of the JDM Bento Box from the Hookup Tackle. Before we dive into this box, a couple housekeeping notes. So today is Tuesday, November 22nd. Tomorrow is Wednesday, the 23rd. And tomorrow night we are going to be doing a simulcast between myself and Rich Hellabass on both of our YouTube channels. And we're going to be doing the Black Friday mystery unboxing. It's where I put two tackle orders in, sent them to Rich. Rich put two tackle orders in, sent them to my house. I already got them, they're here. And we're gonna unbox and open up the each other's orders live on our YouTube channels. And then at the end of the stream, we're gonna give all the boxes away. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you are on either my channel or Rich Hellabass on YouTube for tomorrow night, Wednesday night at 8.30 Central. So just Keep that in mind, clear your books. We're gonna have some cocktails, we're gonna have some fun. It's gonna be our, 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 we did this last year and it was a big hit and we had a lot of fun doing it. So we're gonna do it again this year. So that's gonna be tomorrow. Today, we're gonna be going through the Hookup Tackle's new November JDM Bento box. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, Ben and the Hookup Tackle did their own unboxing video on this particular box. It's on their channel. I'll leave a card right up here if you wanna go check it out. It was great. I watched it. I learned a lot. I'm really glad I watched that video going into this box because it makes what's in this box make a lot more sense because there's a lot of little um, tinker toys in here, little Legos, a, little, a lot of little like customization things that are in this box that I probably wouldn't have really understood what to do with them without watching Ben's video. So shout out to Ben Hookup Tackle. I think it was an awesome video. I hope they do it every single month. I'm going to keep doing my unboxing videos and my reaction videos just because it's fun and uh, I know there's other Bento Box subscribers out there that like seeing how I react to the videos or whatever but um, if you if you, if you you want me to keep doing these videos leave me a link in the description um, or not a link in the description leave me a comment down below if you if you still enjoy these videos um, but you know Ben does them better I love hearing his uh, thoughts and uh, opinions on what he's doing with these boxes and, and, and some explanations and tips and tricks. He's way, way better at it than I am. That being said, we are going to dive right into this box. Um, uh, this is a shad themed box according to his video. Uh, so let's see what we got. Uh, as usual, I'm using my Benchmade bug out uh, knife to open this up. So weather wise, I always like to talk about the weather here in Minnesota. The lakes are frozen. We here are now up in the North Country are in complete winter. It has dropped down to 30 degrees. The lakes are locked up. We are about to jump into ice fishing season. Also, we are going to be um, heading to the river. So we got a section of river up here in Minnesota where we can smallmouth fish all year long. I usually alternate between going to the river and going ice fishing and buying a lot of tackle online. That's kind of how I spend my winter. So um, hopefully some of the stuff in this box I can use when I go hit the river uh, over the next couple months. So first off, we got our card. Uh, whoa, learn about this. This is genius. So instead of putting a description on the back, they put a QR code to, I'm guessing, the YouTube video that they did about the box. So this is super cool. Um, I guess we don't get to read Ben's uh, copy that he used to put on these cards, but that's fine. I think this is a great idea. Use technology. Uh, absolutely. So let's dive in. So this is a shad themed box. Um, we're going to go through a few debates. I'll give my thoughts and opinions and we'll wrap up the video. Uh, first off, we got the, the Pop Max and 110, but we'll get to those last. Uh, first off, we're going to dive right in. Since I already saw a few of these baits, well, I saw all the baits in his his in his unboxing video, but we're going to react to them real quick, and I want to see what colors that I got and what sizes I got in my box. Um, first off, we got the Depths uh, Evoke 1.2, so I got one of the shallower running. I know Ben was going to kind of mix it up, and people were going to get different um, colors and different sizes, but I got the 1.2, which is the shallow running Depths Evoke. If you guys haven't thrown these Depths Evoke cranks, um, they're very premium. They're a little expensive but they do absolutely work and uh i had a lot of fun throwing these on the mad bull this year um also i threw it on the uh mega bass p5 or no mega bass destroyer launcher also is a great rod for this um oh no sorry not the launcher um the javelin sorry i'm, I'm having some brain farts right now but the javelin so the javelin and the Mad Bull both throw this bait pretty, pretty well. I do actually don't have this color. Um, I don't know the name of the color, but um, it's definitely a shad color. So I haven't, I don't have this one. It's got like a black back. It looks like, um, great. I, I'm never gonna turn down more Evokes. These are, these are fantastic uh, baits, really high quality hooks, um, very much quality on this bait. So what's cool about this box is Ben apparently says that because they're doing their sales, he threw some extra stuff in this box. So this box is, Price is actually a little above $100. Uh, 
factoring in the um, Black Friday sales and all that stuff coming up. Now this is a bait that I'm actually kind of excited about because I have a feeling I'm gonna be able to use this with a spinning rod on the river during the winter up here in Minnesota. So there's a stretch of Mississippi that is open year round because of a warm water discharge from a power plant. And everybody likes to throw um, live bait on this stretch of river, including like live shiners and live, um, live minnows. And this is about as live looking as you're gonna get. This is the Lucky Craft Bevy Shad. So apparently this is a really good, um, it can be a twitch bait, it can be a crank bait, um, you can kind of do a lot of different things with this. I'm definitely going to throw this on probably the whip snake um, or, you know, one of my many, many spinning rods. But I definitely want to take this out to the river and test this bait out. So this bait has a ton of flash, looks super minnowy. Um, what color is this? I don't know the color. Um, Japan Shad. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's the name of the color, Japan Shad. But this is a bait I'm absolutely gonna tie onto a spinning rod and use it probably pretty soon, maybe even next week or the next two weeks. I'm gonna get on the river, see if I can catch a uh, smallmouth or probably, i probably catch a walleye on this too. But anyway, sh shallow fishing in the river I think is gonna be a cool bait. Very excited about this. So, so far, Evoke's great. Uh, I'm totally digging the uh, the bevy shed. So we're, we're good, two for two here. The next thing up is the depth uh the sakamata shad and i got a six inch so this is one of the bigger ones i actually don't have any six inch sakamata shad so i'm pretty excited to try this one out i've tried the smaller ones um so if you're not i'm just gonna rip open the package uh because on these you have to so the six inch sakamata shad is pretty big um oh i like the color that i got let's see i don't know which color number this is uh number 140 but this is a really real this is a really nice color it's kind of a, a pearl with a blue and um yeah a lot of blue flake kind of a pearl ghost color looking thing here so anyway six inch sakamata shad if you don't know the sakamata shad has these um these little wings on the top here that give it stability it's kind of just a fluke it's it's the depths version of a fluke but People are really using the crap out of these and catching a lot of fish. I know this is a really popular bait, especially in this tournament trail, especially on shad lakes. Um, you can fish it like you, you can fish it weightless uh, with a straight shank or an EWG hook and just you know fish it like you would a zoom super fluke. Uh, or I actually kind of want to Carolina rig this. I've been Carolina rigging a lot lately, and I think this would be a fun bait to Carolina rig. But also, Ben threw in some owner hooks for this bad boy let me see if i can find them here so we got some flashy swimmers some five aughts and apparently if you rig this up weedless you can fish this um, up shallow through grass um, so i'm gonna try that i actually never fished a sakamata shad like a swim bait so i have a feeling like up and around shallow grass maybe even around pads definitely around um like coontail i think this would be I think it'd be very fun to throw. So um, I'm pretty excited to try the bigger. I probably would never bought the six inch Shakamata Shad. So the fact that they're in this box and I, I have a pack now, I'm going to try it. I think throwing these on like the depths or I'm sorry, the Mega Bass Perfect Pitch, I think is going to be a great rod to throw with this with that owner flashy head. Um, so yeah, these two cool combo. I'm digging everything so far. This one is interesting. I wanted to see this in person. This is the um, Birkin, Birkin swimmer. I, I'm, I butcher all these pronunciations. So uh, apparently this is the, um, this brand is according to Ben is one of owner's brands, like their Japanese brand. Um, the Birkin in swimmer. Sorry, can't pronounce things very well. But this is a very, very close uh, cousin, I guess, to a Meg draft. Uh, so let's, I'm gonna pop this out of the package just so we can take a peek at it because this has some cool engineering into it that uh, I, I want to kind of see for myself. So we got about a five. This is a, let's see, it's under six inches. I want to say it's probably about a five and a quarter, five and a half inch swim bait. So obviously kind of looks and acts like a mag draft except there's no magnet. Um, you kind of have to bury the hook in here, but also, so there's a hook slit, you can shove the hook in. I've never heard of this bait before. I've never seen it before until Ben talked about it in his video, and now I have one. But what I think is really interesting is it's got these flanged uh, flippers. Well, not flanged, just flippers. Um, and you're supposed to tuck the treble hooks in behind them. Like if you're putting your, your long hair behind your ear, you put the hooks right there. If you, know, you can see that right behind the, right behind the flaps. And that's supposed to keep the hooks up. 
Uh, I think that's a really cool idea. I think it's probably better than the magnets because, you know, as you all know, with the mag drafts and the magnets, the magnets fall out. Um, and you kind of just have to shove the hook in there or use some glue or whatever. Um, anyway, I think this is a cool solution to that problem. Um, I like skipping mag drafts, and to me, this looks like a bait that will absolutely skip under a dock really well. Um, this is a cool bait. Definitely interested in trying it. I, I obviously don't experiment too much outside of mag drafts, and I, I throw mostly a six inch mag draft. So it's a little smaller, a little more unique, a little different. And man, this thing is like kind of sticky. Like my fingers are already getting like kind of slimy just holding this thing. So that is interesting. I'm going to keep this in the package because that is a, my fingers are all kind of oily and sticky now. Interesting. Okay. We're going to keep plowing through here. Uh, the next thing we got up is the Dran, Dran, Dran Crazy, the uh, Slow Shiner. So this is another swim bait. It's another big one. This is a 5.8 inches really long slender um, swim bait. I like the color that I got in this. I'm really glad I got this color. I don't know what the color is. Uh, oh, smoke gill. This is this is the right color for uh, here in Minnesota and Wisconsin. So this looks like an awesome color. This is the smoke gill in the slow shiner. So apparently I can rig this with the uh, flashy swimmers as well. Right there. And Ben also gave us a couple doohickeys to make this a line through swim bait if you want. I'll show you guys that in a second. But yeah, this is a nice big, big meal right here. I know the uh, Northern Pike are definitely going to go after this thing when I throw it. But yeah, this thing is nice and slimy as well. Got some slimy swim baits here. So the Dran Crazy Slow Shiner, 5.8 inch, a pack of four. And this is just, oh, forgot to say, apparently... One of the things that makes this bait unique is it you can't really see it on this one. You kind of can see it, but right here, there's apparently an air, oh, you can feel it. So when I squeeze it, you can feel there's an air joint. So there's a, there's a hollow point right at the back of the bait right here where this thing can swing and kick without creating a joint. So basically this is hollow. I can feel it. You squeeze right here. There's a little air bubble. I mean, it's not like an air bubble because I can squeeze it. It doesn't really go anywhere. It's not popping or anything. But anyway, that's why this thing has apparently really good kicking action when you don't have to reel it very fast is because there's this little air bubble in the, in the I don't know, butt section of this bait and uh, create some kicking action. So I guess we'll see. Uh, I'm not a big swim bait person. Um, I do like paddle tails, but all my paddle tails seem to be small. I like the smaller Kytex. I like the smaller... Um, uh, spark shads, those kinds of things. So I'm usually fishing finesse for like smallmouth and stuff. So this is going to be a definite, definite change of pace for me. Okay. The rest of the stuff in the box are just kind of tinker toys. These are like doohickeys, things to play with. Um, I don't really want to like open all of these up, but he gave us two things from Valley Hill that are, you know, this is, I don't know if this is, I guess this qualifies as terminal tackle. It's not really hooks and weights, but, um, one of these, this guy, the bone joint is you can make any plastic a jointed plastic. So you can basically cut a swim bait in half, a plastic swim bait, a plastic craw, maybe even like um, maybe even like a bluegill style bait, like a uh, like a depth bowl flat or something. And you can turn it into a jointed bait by basically connecting the two halves of the plastic with this thing, creates a joint, and you can you know swing a joint. So am I ever going to use this? I have no idea. I don't know what the heck I'm going to use it for. I know right now if I cut a swim bait in half and I put this joint on, in here in Minnesota, we have so many small northern pike. I know they're going to snack it, smash it, and pull the back half of the bait off, and I'm never going to see this thing or the back half of my plastic again. So I'm, I'm a little wary to throw this in heavy pike lakes because I know these things are just going to be gone in like five casts. So, um, But, you know, still something to experiment with. Kind of interesting. I'm a little more interested in this guy. Um, this guy is called the trebling through pipe. So this essentially lets you shove this through any plastic and turn it into a line through bait. So what's cool is you shove this in, you cut the excess off, and then you can run line through the tube to a treble hook, shove the treble hook into a plastic and turn anything you have into a line through bait. This is kind of cool as well. I actually would love to rig a bigger, uh, spark shad with this like maybe a five maybe like a four or five inch spark shad i would love to experiment making a line through bait with that 
Um, so I'm gonna try it. So I like this better than the jointed thing. I don't think I might ever use this. Maybe I will. Definitely gonna try this though. This thing's this thing's pretty cool. So gonna try that. Now this is the last Tinker Toy. Is the uh, Genius Project Blade School. So if you guys don't know about this, I definitely suggest watching Ben's video because he actually assembles it and puts it together. But this essentially lets you turn any bait into a, an Alabama rig. So you got these two bars um, and these pieces right here. You cross them over, you put one bar above it, one bar below it, and then you hook whatever bait you want into the longer bar. And then if you look at the package in the back, so here, I'll just, I'm not gonna take this out and build it because you know we'll keep the video short. But essentially, your, your line comes here, you crisscross, you, you, you crisscross the blades, and then on the back, you hook up whatever bait you want. And you can literally put anything on the back of this. You can put a swim jig. I'm personally seeing putting a ball head jig and a kai tech on the back of this and just turning it into like a, a quote unquote Minnesota rig um, and throwing it around for smallmouth. I mean, you can hook hard baits to the back of this, crank baits, whatever you want. This literally just lets you turn any bait you have into a Alabama rig. I think putting a small finesse swim jig on the back of this might be kind of cool too. Um, but anyway, you can get funky with this. I'm actually kind of excited to throw this. I want to throw this with a paddle tail and just kind of turn it into a Minnesota rig. Cause here in Minnesota, we cannot run a full Alabama rig with multiple hooks. We can only have one hook. So we call it the Minnesota rig where you have all these blades, um, going around a central bait with one hook. And that's pretty much all we can throw legally in our state. So this is definitely made for Minnesotans because we can't make full Alabama rigs. So this is a great, um, fix. All right, that being said, let's move to the main event, the 110 and the Pop Max. Flip it around, Pop Max this year. I'm sorry, this month, the November baits. My brain's a little fried. It's been a rough <laughs> couple weeks at work just getting everything knocked out before the holidays. Um, so this is a nice reprieve to talk about something other than the work. So we got the matte Hasu color this month in the 110. So this is a color that is available in other Mega Bass Baits, but has never been available in the 110. And I have to say, I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. This has to be one of my favorite 110s that maybe has ever came in the bento box. Um, I think this thing is so cool. I love matte, and this is definitely the most unique matte bait that I've seen. It is fairly transparent. You can see light through it. It's not like transparent, transparent, but light definitely passes through it. But that is just a stunning, gorgeous, 110. What's crazy is that this is not a core color. If Mega Bass made this in a core matte color, they would sell the snot out of these things. I don't know why this isn't just a normal matte bait in the Mega Bass lineup because this thing is sick. So we got that. We got the matte Hasu in the 110. Let's take a quick peek at the Pop Max and then we will wrap this video up. That is also very, very attractive. Matte on the bottom, the little Hasu bleeding kind of you know cascading uh, paint job down the side which is kind of you know kind of what that has to paint is known for this is just awesome i really like these baits so far i, I mean this whole box is really cool i like the mega bass alternative i'm sorry the meg draft alternative um i like the evoke is a just that's a solid catcher pretty excited to try this i might actually if i can get to the river tomorrow i might might throw this thing uh, but overall cool box um, I think the only thing I'm not really not too stoked about is this, but I mean, it's just, it's a tinker thing. Just try it. It's fun. It's not a big deal. Not really like core to the box this month for sure. Um, and then, like I said, this is kind of cool because of our legal restrictions in Minnesota. This definitely, um, will give me some options for rigging and to play around with, especially for schooled up smallmouth in the spring. Uh, I think that could be fun. So overall, pretty awesome box this month. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, please hit like, and subscribe. And don't forget tomorrow, Wednesday night, 8.30 Central, dual simulcast on my channel and on Hella Bass's channel. We're going to be doing a live happy hour, having a few drinks, unboxing a bunch of baits, and just talking with the people. So until then, we'll see you uh, tomorrow night. Take it easy.